whole idea is that we would like to develop a new breed of private members club mm -hmm. that is not uh, about whether you're in a certain profession or you are in a certain group or certain social circle or, or having a certain income. It's really about bringing a group of people together, building a community that uh, share the same values, uh, share uh, the same spirit. Uh, it's really about that individual's personality, character and building this diverse uh, community uh, for the club. And how much is it going to cost? So the current price point is 88,000 Hong Kong uh, as a joining fee okay. uh, for full membership. Um, and then uh, and then there's an annual fee. Because the price point also determines you know, the club's place, of course, in, in the general private club market of Hong Kong. Some of which are very, very expensive, some of which are, let's say, just say a little bit more affordable than others. I actually think there's a huge opportunity in the Hong Kong market for private members club. Um, and, and nothing like this actually exists in Hong Kong. You know, Hong Kong, and I grew up in Hong Kong, right? So uh, I'm very familiar with the private club here, mm. which is the traditional kind of members club. Right. Um, you know, very high price point, as you mentioned. Mm. Uh, more about recreational facilities and uh, more about choosing members because of a certain profession or your income, particularly because of the price point. So, mm. so there really isn't uh, a club that is about building a community. It's about building uh, a gathering place. Why launch now? We're in the middle of a pandemic still, and. The economy has barely shown early signs of a recovery. Because of the pandemic, people are actually longing to be uh, connecting with the community, connecting mm. with uh, their friends, and they're looking for a, a place where it's, they feel safe, mm. they feel like it's private. This is the first. What's, where do you take the second, the third? What, you know, do you have expansion plans? Yes, uh, I would love to be in locations like London, um, mm. Beijing, Shanghai, Paris. Right now we're focusing on successfully launching this first one, this first flagship in Hong Kong, mm. uh, but we're already in, uh, in, in dialogues on potential locations around the world. When do you think that's going to be? Like, do you have a specific timeline in mind when you want to have the second club up and running? After this opening, maybe in a year, year and a half time, Okay. Um, you know, really get this up and running, uh, making sure that you know we really build a strong community, and then start opening up uh, the the other ones.